Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me for another episode in my Valheim series. So I did some work off camera since the last episode. Um, mining, charcoal making, smelting more metals, um, some upgrades. Let me pull up my inventory here. So I now have a full set of bronze armor. I only had the helmet before. I went from armor, I think I want to say I was 22 and with these upgrades, I'm now up to 32. Um, I got another troll, so I was up to able to upgrade my cape. And then, of course, these are all level two. I made myself a bronze mace and upgraded it. And my carrot garden came together nicely. So I now have carrot soup and deer stew as food. And then I've got lots of other metal, too. We're already through a lot of the charcoal that I made up. Was this empty or was it just out of charcoal? Uh, okay, six things in here. So this is where we're at. I've got more copper. I've got more tin. And I upgraded my forge so I can do more upgrades to my equipment. And this is where we are. Still have a bunch. Of, I made up some nails, but still a bunch of copper. I made up my bronze nails. So today's plan. We're back on track to go check out where the Elder is. So, this is a gamble because I have two choices. I can drop my boat here and try to come around this way, or I can come to this coast and drop my boat and come this way. It's a 50 50 shot, <laughs> and I'm honestly not sure which one is going to work out, but I think I'm going to come this way. Um, because when I make a boat dock, it's probably going to be to this side. And then we're going to hope for the best. We're basically going to follow the coast as long as... I mean, what'll stink is if this is a continent that comes way out here and we have to go around in a big way. But there's only one way to find out unless you uh, cheat to look at your map, which I have not done. So hopefully that's not the wrong choice. Now, what do I need to make my boat? I need 10 deer hide. 30 fine wood. Actually, hold on. How much fine wood do I need for this? So I need 50 fine wood. 50 fine wood. Do I have that? Oh, I only have 36. Okay, we're gonna have to pause while I get some fine wood. Um, what was it? 20 hide? Twenty resin. I know I have my nails. Ten eyes. Because when I go, I already know I'm gonna want my portal. So I need to have enough portal supplies. I need to have and boat supplies. I also need to be able to build a workbench on both ends. I need a workbench when I make my boat and I need a workbench when I make my portal. So I need to have wood for that. Um, The bronze nails. How heavy am I getting? Pretty heavy. Okay, so 20 resin. That's the other thing I was missing. 20 resin. I keep that in my arrows box. Two forty-seven. Okay. I'm not even sure I can hold that much fine wood. Um, and then I'm gonna need twenty wood. Ugh. Yep, we're getting kind of tight. Cause it's ten wood for a workbench, right? Okay, let's see if we can pull this off. I need to eat before I step out of this place. I'm going to go with these. I'm not sure where I'm going to build an actual little dock for my boat. Um, I was tempted to do it on this river. I think that this river is probably deep enough. To do it kind of right here, even if I dug it out a bit. So I guess now would be a good time as any to check some trees right here. Let's see if I can get my fine wood right from here. Oh, hello, fish. <laughs> Happened to be a fish sitting there. That'll make up for the fish that I had to throw away in last episode. Okay. I might have to build my boat. 
And then, yeah, see, I'm already out of, I'm out of space. Okay, let's build a workbench down here. And then I can build my boat. So let's do that. How far out can I go? Uh-oh. Well, come here. We'll fix it right up. It's fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. All right. Now I need. What was it? 20 more fine wood? Yeah. Okay. So as long as I end up with 20 from this tree, we're good. I'm not sure I will. I might need to do the other one too. Okay. 14. Cut this one down too. Then I'll run up there and empty my inventory of any nonsense I don't need, like that birch seed. I'm going to want to start planting my own birch trees. Now that I have a cultivator, just so I always have close access to fine wood. You can plant all the trees. Um, at some point, I usually end up having a whole tree farm with pine trees for core wood. It's a whole thing. Uh, 19, 20. Oh, perfect. Okay. Let's go drop this off. So I don't know if anyone noticed. I barely noticed until I went back later. But this random hole that likes to appear here. I remember mentioning it in the last episode. And then I came back later and it was gone. Like it had just evened itself out again. So I don't know what that was about, but it was odd. All right, and fish is over here. Oh, I also added this, my fermenter. I haven't started making any meads yet, uh, but I have a fermenter here, so I can. They give you buffs. Like, when I go into the swamp, I'm going to want uh, the anti-poison mead. It's going to be really important. Did I take too many deer hides? I must have. Okay, this is my portal. I only need 10 wood. I also don't really have to carry wood necessarily. I like to. But anywhere you're going, you're pretty much going to find enough wood. I'm going to leave my wood arrows behind. I'm just going to go with fire arrows and these arrows. Am I fully repaired? I wasn't, but I am now. And I am here as well. Okay. Okay. Let's, um, let's go try to sail. Sailing in this game can be brutal. Because it is very dependent on the wind. That is accurate. Um, another thing to mention is your boat will pretty much stay where you left it. If you're not in it. Once you're in it, it will start drifting. Okay, so to drive the boat. Oops, don't punch the boat. Let's try that again. <laughs> to drive the boat, press E. Now you automatically, so like one forward is going to be paddling. So we're paddling right now. You can see though the wind is that little white swirly bit. The wind is right behind us. So we actually can get some good speed going. Out of here. We're overcorrecting a little bit. This doesn't seem bad, though. I mean, there's a lot of rocks to dodge, but overall, depth-wise, I think it'll be not too bad to have my boat coming from near home. Come on. It's been a long time since I've used the little boat. Eventually, we'll get a much bigger boat that travels faster and can carry more. They all have a little inventory in them. All right. This is really good so far. So you can end up going directly into the wind. And this becomes a crawl. You are paddling this boat through the ocean. And it's absolutely brutal. <laughs> so we're lucky. This is a good start so far. 
going the other way. So that means if we had been going the other way, if I decided to go the other way down the um, river, we would have been going directly into the wind. So oh, I should have gone back and, and gone and gotten the chitin off of that uh, turtle thing another time. The other good part about carrying the wood that you need to repair your or to build your portal is that you then have the wood also to uh, pull up, drop a bench, and repair yourself if you need to. There are sea serpents that you can run into. At our stage, might be a little scary. Once you start hitting them, they run away from you, which is a bummer because they have really good meat. The meat from a sea serpent is really, really good. All right. Hopefully this won't take an eternity, but uh, I will see you. Ooh, ocean. <laughs> I will see you either when we get there or if something dramatic happens like a sea serpent. Oh, wow. Okay. So we got close. And I just kind of slowed down since it's like the middle of the night. And I was going to cruise up and down the coast to see like what a good landing spot would be. That's the Elder Platform. Right there. Like on the water. That is interesting. Okay. So... I'm definitely not going to want to put my portal like right here because the elder will destroy it and if you get into trouble during the fight you want to be able to um you know portal back and get back to the fight with your stuff i don't feel like fighting this brute let's cruise around and uh see what else is around here i was not expecting that actually might not be great I don't know how I feel about that. It's easy to get to, but it's going to really limit my space to run around. I guess as long as I stay, like, up tight to the pillars, I should be okay. It's less directions for other stuff to come in at me with. I'm going to scope out uh, the coast until it becomes daylight. Spawner there. Keep overcorrecting. The spawner over there. I actually do need spawners. I only have one ancient seed still. Any of the brutes I killed have not dropped any. Is that a burial chamber? It is a burial chamber. This fish just jumped into my ship. A uh, trollfish. That's new. <laughs> they literally jumped in. Alright. Got another spawner there. I'm gonna go in real slow. Turn back and do the same thing on the other side. Only thing that would be really cool right now would be if I trigger the traitor. <laughs> the traitor is gonna be somewhere in the Black Forest. And all you have to do is get close enough on the map and it'll put in a little, like, sack symbol. Some blue fog up there, so it might be a tower or ruin. Yeah, I lost my rested bonus. This actually didn't take me as long as I thought it might. I followed the coast and then realized I was curving the wrong way, so came straight for it, and there was nothing in the middle. <laughs> Not even the continent it's on. It was a pretty quick, uh, pretty quick boat ride. Alright, when I turn around to go back the other way, I'm going to be going directly against the wind, so that's fun. Oh, that one almost jumped in, too. All right, let's head back. Back the other way. I don't want to go too far. 
and see if there's anything interesting. I didn't see anything too good. I mean, I want to do that burial chamber because I need more cores still. I'm still two cores short of having a kiln and a smelter at the same time. I really want those extra cores. But let's see if there's a really good spot to set up going the other way. Okay, we've got a troll, so I'm going to have to make sure that uh, before I fight the elder, I scout the area really, really well. The last thing you want when you're fighting the elder, or any boss really, is to have like a big, powerful ad jump in. And a troll with a log would be that. That's another burial chamber. That was another burial chamber right here. I can tell by the flat roof it wasn't a troll cave. That's the troll cave right there. Man, this is a nice little spot. not mad about this. I mean, that said, there's a lot of bad things, so I'm not seeing, like, a really great spot to, uh, park and set up my portal. Another spawner right there. Yeah, this entire coastline is pretty much peppered with things that will, uh, kill me. So, a little rough. What I might need to do is get off at the Elder and go inward, go inland and see if there's a spot to put my portal. Either that, oh, hello troll. Either that or that looks like meadows over there. So maybe I build on the meadows and then make my way over. Because as I take out the trolls and spawners, oh no. As I take out those trolls and spawners, it's really going to chase me. The spawners won't come back. The trolls might eventually, but the spawners definitely won't. Oh, no. Oh, rock. I was watching the troll and not where I was going. Granted, he's a rock throwing troll, so I'm pretty sure that since he's in the water, he can't do his animation to hurt me. Yeah, he's giving up. Okay, so somewhere along this meadow is actually probably going to be where I'm going to set up. I can always move it closer later. But as far as getting a good look, see if there's like a building I can put it in. That would be uh, probably too lucky. <laughs> Come on. All right, well, we'll pull our boat up in here. Mark it on the map so I don't lose it. And then scope out a portal spot. Uh, do I want to park it with all these necks and things? Probably not. Going backwards an extra time will put you in reverse. You start paddling in reverse. Let's just go up a little bit further. I want to leave my boat somewhere safe. Uh, why am I still going backwards? Come on. Here we go.
We'll go right up past this rock, I think. Oh, no. We're, there's no wind. All right. Here we go. Paddling against the wind. I'm going to get up past that rock and park the boat. All right. I beached the boat a tiny bit. It's fine. We are going to drop down uh, the workbench. Come on. Come on. Place down for me. There we go. Uh, fix the boat. Didn't really get that damaged. Now, mark the boat. <laughs> the boat is parked here. Don't lose the boat. I have made that mistake before. Not marking where my boat was. And I regretted it. Okay, now. Do I want to build the portal... Crappy weather. Let me just see a little bit what's out here. I might drop the portal there just so I can go home and get my rested bonus back. Whoa. Village. Okay. Now, I'm being cautious because, again... From experience, I found one of these villages and thought, oh, this is great. I can take over this village. Oh, yep, there it is. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. I can try to zoom it in when I'm editing. That is a draugr right there walking in the distance. That is a draugr. Uh, they are the undead from the swamp. But they will also be in villages in the meadows. Uh, I didn't even know what a draugr was the first time I played this and did the similar thing. Brought the boat, hopped out of the boat, thought, oh, great, a village, ran into it and died horribly over and over because I didn't know what a draugr was and I didn't know that they built villages. <laughs> so this continent, um, while good, is also really bad. I'm going to mark this, too. Let me back off. And then we'll mark that, too, so I don't forget. I tend to use campfires for... Oh, wait. Oh, those are death markers. Okay. I'll use, like, campfires when I'm looking at villages, especially, like, aggressive ones throughout the map. And you run into them a lot in the plains, too. So... Uh, Draugr. That is to be avoided. Eventually we'll be fine. I mean, I might be able to do it, but I don't see any reason to. I don't see any reason to mess with that. So now the question is, do I want to move my boat? I'm pretty far away. Like, that's a pretty good distance from here. They don't really wander outside. Um, so we'd probably be good. Pop this down. You don't really have to do anything to protect it. There we go. Okay, see, now we have a connected portal. Things might come up and attack the boat or the workbench. But I've never had one of my portals destroyed out and about in the world. Could it happen? Probably. But it's never happened to me. <laughs> okay, quick portal trip home. Take care of uh, some little things here. want more arrows I'm thinking I'm thinking I will make some fire arrows that was a lot of trolls so to recap to recap what we just found we found I believe three gray dwarf spawners two trolls two burial caves and a draugr village all in this much coastline that's a lot. There's a lot going on. 
There is a lot going on on this little section. Um, I might come back and do what I was saying earlier, Elder Inland, and see if I can find a good place for a portal, a safe place for a portal. Hopefully I won't die. I mean, you don't want to plan for dying. I've never died in an Elder fight since the very first time. First time we played this and just didn't know what the pattern was, like what the fight would be like, I died. But since then, I've never had any issue. Um, or saying that, probably jinxed myself and now I'm going to die a horrible death in this game. But hopefully not. Hopefully not. I'm actually going to call it here. I think this was a really good accomplishment. This is what I wanted to get done today in this episode was to find the elder. Um, and it was actually much easier than I thought it would be. Which is offset by how miserable this is probably going to be. This will be the focus of next episode. We found the elder. Now next episode we're going to probably not the Draugr village, but we're going to clear out the trolls and probably do the burial chambers that are over here and just get ready for the elder fight. Um, between all those spawners, we should get enough seeds that we need to summon him. Um, we'll level, we'll get my metal continuing process, and we should be ready to fight the elder either at the end of next episode or depending on like how long these things take, potentially the episode after that but we're doing really well i'm happy with our progress um yeah i think we're doing well if you enjoyed today's video and you haven't done so already please like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one and until then have a good one everybody